This is Dr. Yomi Yushami Kilayim, uh, in the Arts Oswald edition. We're starting from Sama Kesemav at the top, Kehida uh, Marabihila. And uh, in the uh, Vilna edition, that is uh, on uh, uh, Lamed Vavon and Beis, the um, four, fourth line down, Kehida Marabihila. Um, now, I'm really splicing this. <laughs> At the beginning of a, a, a Shiari Gori yesterday, which went way over because I got confused because of the Shiari Gori. So I'll take, it's a long story. Uh, uh, I told you yesterday about the outtake, which is very long, and I didn't realize to stop when I got to Rabbi Hila. So as you will see in a moment, color my tie changes from today's color to yesterday's color. But uh, we're, basically, the reason Shiari Gori took out from here till here is that we repeat the question again, right? It says, uh, um, uh, and going back a line, I'll die to Rabbi Yonah, so keep slut called Lotisa Klein, lays a double number, Lotisa Karmakaki line. We, uh, uh, <laughs> we're, we're, same question we asked at the beginning of the, before the Shire Tony Sills, okay, what does Rabbi Yonah do with this boss? According to Rabbi Yonah, teaches us Lotisa Karmakaki line, don't plant two seeds in your, uh, in your Klein from this morning, in Chita Sora, in the Karam, in order to be killed at Karam, but what does Rabbi Yonah say? So, Rabbi Hila, hey, not Omar, lo Omra, lo ma'at Omar. So, in other words, that would you say, lo Omar, that this drasha, um, um, that this drasha is the only drasha you can learn from here, the drasha Rabbi Yisha, don't say that, because there are other drashas, and we won't be any different with the table of Rabbi Yisha. And now, we're going to say another drasha, right? God, I'm here, lo tizu kam kam, ikar kam chakilayim lo now we'll pick up with yesterday's year and then continue after uh, for, for the segment yesterday's year and then continue afterwards to where we get up to. So, go to Rabbi Hila, like Rabbi Hila said, Hey, that Amar, uh, at Amar lo Amara. That is, which means that that which you say is uh, lo Tomar, why is it said? Uh, oh, ki kahad Amar Rabbi Zera. Lo tizra karma chakilaim ika karma chakilaim lo tizra. In other words, don't think they have to uh, plant in order to be um, kilaim. It has to be uh, planted in a carrot, right? It has to be carrot, and then you plant in. But even if you plant at the beginning of your carrot, right, kilaim, that is also considered to be kilaim. It's not in the carrot, but at the, uh, even simultaneously with the vines, it's still going to be Kalim. Um So, uh, so, so again, hein dat Omar lo Omara lama lama at Omar. That which you said, don't say. Hein dat Omar. I said lo lo Omar. That which you said that you learned Rabbi Yishia that it's lo tizo karmachak kilaim. Don't plant in the karam kilaim. Which means they have chita sora in the karam. Don't learn it that way. But right? rather learn, because they might say lo tizo karam kilaim, ikor karmachak lo kilaim lo tizwa. When you're making karam, don't put kilaim in it. That's the way the boss called Rabbi Yosi. You're going to come with clear book of Rabbi Yosi. Tamar at Amar, ain't zire ilan kurim zoin. There, you say, kilay zoram, that zire ilan are not called zoin. So uh, the uh, in terms of kilaim, then uh, the trees don't answer as kilaim, right? The ilan, ilan a tree does not come kind kind of the karam, only uh, 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 grain or vegetables. But hacha is in terms of hechshes roim, that uh, they only are mukshul kabotuma when like any other seed when. Beverages when uh, beverages fall on them, because it says a kozer is a rua, and that means including the zira elon. So why, in terms of hechsher, are they makabel tuma, mukshu kabel tuma, like any other zera, and they're not considered zera in terms of kilaim? Rambam says it's a tamon bieta kosu. So he says it's a tamon where uh, meaning by kilaim, it says. Uh, 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 the pasuk is, is is qualifying. It's saying it's a memai. I should definitely yos korin. Here it should say instead of zroim. The prime changes it to zria. Things are called zria. 
that verb for planting. And as opposed to planting trees, it's called netiah. It's not the same verb. So it says lotisas kamachai kaim, which is not the same thing as lotitas kamachai kaim. That's why not high for kaim if you're planting trees in a karen or the tree seeds. But but by terms of hechshel kabel tuma ribar kosub akos zera zorasha is a rare. So there's many words zera that includes the word elon, includes elonus as well. Amrei l'shem rabbi yane hamachape bikilaim loke. Somebody had uh, two minim in the dirt. And you cover them with uh, dirt. Uh, it, cover them with dirt. You get malchus. Those two seeds are ready in the ground. You just cover them. You get malchus. And Rabbi Yechonah says, "Well, I must say, it's in the Mishnah, Kilayim uh, bekerem." The the Mishnah says in Japan in malchus. In malchus, it says, "Yesh chorish kam echad b'chayim v'lo b'shmun shmoyin alavin." You can put, you can plow one uh, row and chayim and eight lavin, including kilei akerem. So, uh, 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 I can have a line by plowing. Lob Muchape is not by covering. In other words, if I do plow here, it covers there. So, obviously, Stephen, I'm Mishnah Yechai Muchape. Why are you saying, well, who has a Rabbi Yana is Kiddush? It's a Mishnah Mavoreshes. If I have a Rabbi Yana Mechale, when Rabbi said it to Rabbi Yana, he said, why are you saying it's your Kiddush? It's, it's, it's a Mishnah. Rabbi Yana praised him, he said, Hazolim Zov Mikis. It's like gold which flows from the pocket. This, uh, my son, they should not deviate from your eyes. In other words, what you said is uh, an incredible thing. Also, it's a praise as he gave him. Shem and Lakish. Shem and said, no, no. After all these praises, Rabbi Yana gave Rabbi Yochan. I could say, no. The Mishnah and Marcus is no Raya. This is Marcus going like a kiva. There, kiva amar. Mekai mekilaim lo over below. So I say. So it's mekai mekilaim is over below. So I say. So therefore, it's not to do with mechape mekilaim. Mechape mekilaim. I say according to Rabbanon. Well, mekai mekilaim doesn't get a lav that mechape is, but it could be the Mishnah and Marcus is going like a mavi kiva. So mekai mekilaim is over below. I say. So, uh, uh, so says Mark. No, no, no. Kum am Rabbi Akiva el lavon. He was only talking about Rabban. You, you violate the Isra, but Shem and Chos get Malkus. But here we want to say, right? Here we want to say that you get Malkus. In other words, the Gemara and Malkus is talking about how many Malkus you get. So therefore, it, it's, not, it's not going to be keeping them kind the kind Kilaim. It's over at Los, I say, we need to have a mice in order to get Malkus. And also from here, it's here we learn Shviz is Shviz. Uh, it says in that Mishnah and Malkus, you over a Shviz. I would run Shviz. If it's just Mekayim. Yisloch me, Meimar, Shviz, Rabbi Akiva. It must be so that you're being Mechape. See, it's during Shemitah, and that's why you're high, because you Mechape is a form of planting. You can't say it's Rabbi Akiva, because just being Mechayim seeds during Shemitah is not the answer. Even if it's said by Kilayim, it's not answered by Shemitah. Um, uh, Pasla Shvitz Rabbi Lezer. Now, the Gemara says, it could be going like, uh, 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 Shemitah is, uh, 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 the Kiddush is like Rabbi Eliezer. Um, um, the Rabbi Eliezer uh, Omer, um, that is the Omer, Loken HaKarisha B'Shviz. Even though Rabbi argue, Rabbi Lezer was getting Malchus on Harisha and Shemitah, so it could be the Shemitah there, this is not the planting, but this there is the plowing in and of itself. Rabbi Yochaz, when it says, ain't looking at Chisha B'Shviz. My time, Rabbi Lezer, what's, what's Rabbi Lezer's uh, uh, Svara? B'Shav Sarah Shabbat Shlashem, cloud. The show, the field, the real field to rest, it's a cloud. Sarah Chalot Tizra, the Karma Chalizmo, sees more prat. Don't plant and don't harvest, that's a prat. Hazor, uh, Hazerva Zamra Bichlalayu. Zera and Zamar were included. But Loma Yatsu, why were they separated? Lakish only aimed to draw a hekesh to them, a, a, a parallel. Malachama Zerva Zamra Muchachi Mavoda Boretz Bilon. Then Avoda, which applies both to the land and the tree. I called the Rosh Avoda Bilon. So to anything which is an Avoda in the, uh, both the um, land and in the tree. So it's a, the way, it's not only like a cloud, like a cloud of prat. 
like we normally understand Klal Prat, because Klal Klal Prat, and Klal Hamasha Prat, is saying that um, it's a Prat she yotzam in a Klal. A Prat which yotzam in a Klal, it's not because it comes to teach us that that anything which is like the Prat is your Chayavad. So, uh, so it's not the Pesukim are not juxtaposed to each other. So now you notice I've changed my tie again back to the subsequent day. And um, so uh, I want to explain that a little bit more. Why? Because it's not a cloud plant to cloud because the, the Pesukim are, as I said, not juxtaposed to each other. They're not that far apart. But the Pesukim are in Baikur Chafei. The Pesuk um, uh, Bay says, then we So we're not going to say cloud prat to cloud from pasuk base or cloud prat from pasuk base to pasuk dalid because we have pasuk given in the middle. So therefore, we're going to say "Klal Dovashi Yatzav Minat Klal Lamei Atzmo Yatzav Lamei Atzmo Yatzav Lamei Al Klal Kulo Yatzav." That's what Rebbe says. Shav Dovash Shabbos Hashem Klal So Chol Yisrael V'Kam Chol Yisrael Prat, right? But it's not a Klal Prat in the standard sense because there's pasuk gimel in between pasuk base and pasuk dalit. Azer Bazem Yichlal Yuv Lamei Atzmo Akishleim Lamei Alcham Mazer Bazemer Yuchad Shem Zavod Ba'aret Just like Planting and pruning are avodah baritz elon and tree of kolosh avodah baritz elon. Now, what would Rabbi Yochanan? So, what does Rabbi Yochanan do with this? Why does he not say also that it's a uh, 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 the prat is something which is baritz uh, elon, and therefore, um, just like Rabbi Yochanan says, you get harisha as baritz elon. Then Marcus and it says Rabbi Yochanan do the same thing. So, Rabbi Yochanan has an interesting thing here. In order to understand Rabbi Yochanan, um, I, I uh, um, one of the reasons I'm and this is actually a part I'm redoing, because I like the Pshad of Ribaz, which I'm going to go with now, somewhat better than the Pshad of Ribchaim, which I recorded previously, and which you're not going to hear now, uh, which is that um, we have a principle uh, that uh, when a prat is Yotzei Chalik, we're going to say Shabbos. So Havara, Havara was Yotzei Minaklal. They're all the Melachas of Shabbos. None of them are enumerated in the Benali, except for Havara. So the Gemara has a Machlik, is in Shabbos. What is, what, why is Havara Yotza? That's all you have to do. You have to do a lot. You have to come out to say, all right, just like a vara is a malachim of chulekes, the yachayv on it in the umbra itself, so to uh, each of the malachim of Shabbos, all 39 yachayv on uh, 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 each one independently of the others. You have to do for each one. Or, that's one opinion. The other opinion is you have to do a lot. You have to teach us now, vara is different. Vara is not the same category as the other lavin of Shabbos. The other 38 malachim you get, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, you get Koris or Skila, right? And Havon is just a lot, regular Los I say. So, um, so the uh, so the Gemara says, Ma of Rabbi Yochanan, what does Rabbi Yochanan do with this Yotzah Minakla? So, Shnei Dvarim, the two things, right? Zviya and Zmira. Now, the curious thing is Yotzah Minakla, Chokin. Though the Rabchaim, the Baz, others change the Girsa, everybody holds. This is really except for the emotional is a big meal. As we have Nehemiah says, when he has part of the gear, so he doesn't change the gear. So, but so he says, well, it's, it's like a question. So, when Amen, most of them turn into an Anakokin. So, he says, just like it's not Michalik. In other words, you have two Prothians, you can't learn it's Michalik Molochus. You can't learn it's Yotzel Chalik like Havara does. You can't say Yotzel Lab like Havara does. It does it, it doesn't. Only one, if one Molochus is Yotzel in a cloud, it can be Molochus. Two Molochus are Yotzel in a cloud, they're not Molochus. It's like, we have the Prince of Snakes who uh, uh, um, uh, has got um, um, Snakes who and Boim Kachot, right? So he said, you can't, we can't learn from Snakes who and Boim Kachot because they say it's, local, it's only it's localized. Why the Torah chose this too? It's a good question, but they're not Malami, right? So therefore, Rabbi Yechon says, we can't extrapolate from them. We can't extrapolate. So therefore, we can't learn a Kharisha out from there. Then, so, uh, so, so, the Gemara asks, the Laser, Rabbi Lezer, ain't no Chokim. Uh, uh, hey, it's a good point, Rabbi Lezer. Again, okay, we're putting the word "ain't uh, 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 no here, right? So, it doesn't Rabbi Lezer "ain't no chokim"? That's the old same thing. So, good point, Rabbi Yochanan's making. They can't be mechalik. Can't take two mechalikes or put out mechalik. One mechalik put out mechalik, but not two. 
So it says my heels are wet. Yeah, Yes, if I want to do chilk melachas, like a habar lechalkiotza, habar lelabiotza, like a mesechus shabbos, where I use habar for that purpose, you're right. I can't do that with two melachas. That's true, but they can. But that's the question: whether lechalik or lelabiotza. But lelamid doitzim, they can be melamid, and why they why can they be melamid? Because I kind of triangulate. I say these two melachas, if this is similar, they they it must be that if they're similar, they're both Elon and Basada, So it must be everything else Elon Basada. So it's not coming to be mechalik in the malachas of shemitah. It's not you say one of the shemitah is coming for a lab. That I can't do with that is masked Rabbi Yechiel. It says lelamim lelamik. It teaches that harisha is also. Okay, obviously v'leis le Rabbi Yechonon melamdin. Okay, good point. So what Rabbi Yechon? Yechon also melamdin, right? Good question, right? So shani, um, no, it's different. You can't say why. Shaklau b'basei proper lotase. The cloud is in the midst of the sassay. The cloud is with Shav Sa Aretz, uh, Shabbos Lashem. And the Prat is a low sassay, which is low seas, karma, son, low seas, or karma, low seas more. And I say, Melamed, I'll low sassay, and low sassay, Melamed, I'll say. You can't make that Yotzim in the cloud correlation when one is positive and one is negative, or vice versa. These are obviously principles in Jewish. They make there is some logic to it, but he's saying that that's the principle of Jewish is that they have to be in a similar tense, so to speak, negative or positive. Otherwise, we don't say this principle called the Bashi Yosem in the cloud is Melamed on the cloud Kulo, and therefore Rabbi Yochum is saying that Harisha is not also the Raisa during Shemitah. Okay, the Gemara goes on to speak about this, uh, about the Makhlukh that we Rabbi Yechanan, but we're ready on Ayin Amraf, so we'll leave it for. Tomorrow.